Hey guys, it's Rally here and welcome to episode 2 of Last FIFA 17 and the recipe for today's episode is quite simple. We'll start off with a bit of club management, get some coins, sell on some players, improve our squad a little bit and then we'll be into playing some games. We'll play our first matches of FIFA 17 and see if we can get a good start to our division live. So yeah, starting off, I sold on a bunch of the gold players I didn't really need in my squad and most of them did sell on within an hour, but some of them I had to relist and uh, yeah, one of the manager tasks uh, are quite simply to sell a player and by doing that you get a free pack with a lonely player which I'm probably not going to use. Dini, not really a player fitting into my plans, but we got some chemistry styles which might be used in the long run. Apart from that, I also had a lot of unwanted bronze and silver players, most of them being untradeable, and you can basically use them for the squad building challenges. So if you build a full uh, bronze squad, uh, you can basically trade them in and get a silver players pack. It's not exactly going to be the best players you get in these silver packs, but then again, you can then do a silver upgrade where you put in all your unwanted silver players and then upgrade them into gold players. So it's a good way to sort of get rid of the players you don't really need, um, and then try and get better players out of it. So yeah, I also had a lot of silver players, which I didn't really need. And some of them I could sell on, but many of them were in undesirable leagues or they had bad stats. So I decided just to trade them in here, but I still kept some of them because it would be smarter to at least keep some I could quick sell for some coins and then trade in the untradeable silver players I wouldn't be using at all. Uh, and through doing the silver upgrade, I got a gold pack. And in that gold pack, not really anything amazing. However, it is more players uh, which are, uh, in the long run can use in the gold upgrade challenge and maybe get some rare players in uh, which could be a little bit better anyways after that I felt it was time to complete my starting 11 so I felt like I had a strong squad to go into division 10 with so I replaced Marshall with Stefan El Shaway a name I always struggle to pronounce uh, uh, but uh, he got five star skills this year and I'm looking forward to trying him out I got Jovetic as well uh, to play alongside with Dybala. I got a left back in Mario Rui. And then finally I picked up two center backs from Lazio in Bastos and De Vries. Uh, because I wanted to go with this Serie A theme to start off with at least. Because Serie A got so many good uh, reliable players for pretty cheap coins. So uh, I decided that would be the league I would start out with. And Viviano would be my goalkeeper. He got the long throw trade. Which is something I quite do like to have on a goalkeeper to start counter attacks. And yeah then De Vries and Bastos going into the lineup. The only player not on full chemistry at this stage was a Bayern. I had to receive but I decided not to play him in because I thought bearing on a little bit less chemistry would probably be better uh, than Toro Cities. And then I jumped into Division 10 for my very first match of FIFA 17 on Ultimate Team. And um, yeah, we'd be rocking with the EA Access kit we unlocked in the first episode. And we came up against a BPL squad in a 4 1 2 1 2 formation. Got a couple of good. Lonely players in there, and Mkhitaryan, Marshall, Deli Ali, Butland. Uh, but it's us to start off the game with one of my favorite new combos on the game. Uh, the fake pass into the V-Drag. El Shaway with some lovely skills there, but unlucky to put the ball wide off the goal. My opponent to try out a shot from distance as well, but wide as this shot would be. Uh, definitely not as good as... Uh, El Shaway's first effort in this match but we continue on the switch here to Dybala he will head into the middle and uh, yeah it's definitely uh, El Shaway which is gonna be one of my favorite players in the beginning of this game because he is very very cheap and he got the five star skills and just feels good on the ball he got a nice bit of pace on him uh, he got a decent finesse shot on him as well and he just seemed to be the player to set up most of my attacks. And yeah, I would get my first goal of FIFA 17. Unfortunately, not too many skill moves in this one uh, compared to my earlier attacks. But uh, at least I got the lead. And uh, it gave me a bit more breathing space, believing in things. And here I would find Jovetic completely open. However, he is not the fastest of strikers. Smalling will catch up. We go with a little spin. And Jovetic will tuck that past the Kiva and make it 2-0. So a nice little skill move there to beat, uh, beat Smalling and set us up at 2-0. However, from a corner, a good chance there from my opponent, but good save from Viviano. And then 
it was time to see if we could score a nice little skill goal here. It's Jovetic on the board, beating two players with the roulettes, sets it up for the volley, but it's into the hands of the goalkeeper. And as the match was coming to a close, it was Mkhitaryan to put it, his final mark on the match to make it 2-1 but it wouldn't really matter in the long run. I would still get the win, and as we had the coin boost on, we got 1,400 coins from this match, meaning we have some coins to maybe buy a couple more players. And at the same time, for completing our first match, we completed a manager task as well. There's so many manager tasks here right from the start, and the reward for that is basically free fitness items and... Well, one of the next manager tasks is to apply a fitness item and also to apply a contract. And uh, it just so happened to be that De Vries, he was missing a contract and he was pretty low on fitness. So by applying that to him, we completed two manager tasks and he would be ready to play the next match for us. And finally, I completed the final manager task I was missing, which basically was to buy a consumable item. And uh, that way around... We complete all our manager tasks, we got some coins for completing the final ones here, and then finally for completing the full set of manager tasks, we got a free pack of untradeable items to use uh, in our club. So of course you go out and open that one up, and players-wise, we actually got a little bit lucky. It's not a, an amazing player by any means, but Di Maio suits our Serie A squad. He'll be a good backup player for fitness, uh, which we can use when, we, when eventually our players run low. My thought is I'll try and have a starting lineup and then a bench where I can swap around in Serie A and then eventually I'll move on to another league and maybe build some sort of hybrid. That is what I'm thinking. I also got a Danish kit here. Uh, which is quite suiting as I'm from Denmark. I thought, why not use that as a secondary kit? And finally, I went out and picked up Salah um, to, to get a stronger player in on the right wing. I felt he would play a little bit better. And I took Baron out and p played in Torres Cities uh, just to get the chemistry out of uh, Salah as well. And I think my next spot to try and upgrade is probably going to be my right back spot or maybe uh, a bit of a midfield if I want to play a 4 3 3. Anyways, the second opponent of Division 10 had yet another BPL squad. 4 1 2 1 2 there. Pretty strong striker force he had going there. But we'll start off the game uh, with our five star skiller, El Shawe. And it's on the wing here. Some nice. Uh, some nice skill moves there to beat the players and he cuts inside into the box but in the end it sort of bounces around the box and over it flick over the defender but the shot was terrible absolutely terrible and then in the eighth minute we got a free kick and my opponent decided to put a player on the line and i thought to myself you know what we should try a driven free kick into the box use it as sort of a a fast pass into the player who's now on site because he got a player on the line and saw a small opening, tried to play it on through and it worked out perfectly. And it's Mario Rui to uh, tuck that one past the keeper from close range and that would make it 1-0. So uh, a nice little uh, custom set piece, I guess we could call it, uh, and would we'll take the lead. But my opponent, he was definitely good and way tougher than my first opponent in this episode. And after I went up 1-0, he started creating a lot of stuff. I was under pressure here, and I couldn't quite get the control of the match. He was pushing on and trying to get a goal, but luckily Viviano in the net was very, very good. Or maybe my opponent's shooting wasn't that great because that's something I found myself from playing my first games uh, on FIFA 17. I find it quite difficult to get the ball past the goalkeeper and uh, that might just be something about getting used to the to the new shooting on the game or something like that because uh, I, I played some matches also on another account where I just struggled to get the ball past the goalkeeper and also happened in these matches I played here. So uh, yeah, it can be a little bit difficult and here we're pretty close to getting a Rabona shot in over the line but in the end, we miss the second rebound and it remains at one to nil. My opponent breaking on through here, good shot. And again, luckily, it was wide of the goal. We played here to Stefan Elshawa into the box and then it ends up just bouncing all around the shop. Nothing really working smoothly here. But in the end, we do actually happen to uh, somehow get a big opportunity with Dybala and on the weak foot, he could not score. And in the end, it ended at one to nil. I'd say I was pretty lucky to get away with a one nil victory. My opponent could definitely had gotten something out of this match, but luckily he didn't score. And that sees us, be sit sees us sitting on six points after our, our very two first matches of Division 10. And as for now, we're going to end off the episode. When we start out the next one, we'll probably try and buy a couple more players into a squad and maybe do a bit of training and continue our journey in Division 10. But for now, that's all. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.